So my second goal for 2023 was to upload 52 videos this year. I aimed for 52 just to be more consistent, but when I really thought about it, I decided, you know what, why not challenge yourself, do 52 in 52 days, and feel more accomplished. <laughs> I was this close, this freaking close to completing the challenge of 52 videos in 52 days. Okay, let's stop this video right here. Originally, I made a whole 10 minute long video overly explaining the reasons why I stopped daily vlogging. And truthfully, we could sum that all up into one or two minutes. The main problem I was having was filming all day and trying to find fun creative things to film, then editing at night, plus trying to handle all my responsibilities and other goals was only allowing me to average four to six hours of sleep every night. Today I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what a full day of my life looks like. That's pretty much it for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. And a few of those nights, I only got two hours of sleep, so to try to find more time, I cut my workouts back to only two to three times a week, which seemed to have helped a little bit, but I still wasn't getting more than five to six hours at night, and so I decided, you know what, I'll just cut out real estate for the time being, hence why you guys heard me complain a lot towards the end that I can't keep up with real estate because I have to edit. Fortunately, there is one thing in my routine that I actually won't get to work on today, and that is real estate school. And even after all this, I still somehow managed to fall behind on videos, which caused extreme stress. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't stressing about the fact that I didn't upload today. <sighs> ah, I, I just couldn't keep up. I felt like I was drowning. No matter how hard I tried, no matter how many goals I sacrificed, nothing was working. I still kept falling behind. <sighs> I still tried my best. I kept continuing to vlog on day 45 and day 46 until finally I realized, all right, I missed one too many uploads. The challenge beat me. I tried my absolute hardest. I gave my all, but I felt like it was, it was causing me to sacrifice too much. I mean, my health from lack of sleep and lack of working out, not working towards my goal of selling a house. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't uh, really disappointed. I was gonna say a little, but I'm really disappointed. I'll talk more about that though at the end of this video. For now, let's just do a weekly highlight, a highlight of the things you missed out on while I've been gone. Starting right where we left off, day 45 of the daily vlogs. Man, welcome in, girl. Wait, so cute here. Yeah, thank you. Oh, the dress is so fur. Oh, you don't like it? It looks really cute in there, and I love those. Nice. I love it. Thank you. She got to see the apartment, we went out to eat, had some delicious dessert. Oh, dude, that's a cool shot, yeah. And the best part was, Hannah, we are about to smash. <laughs> No matter how well you eat or what kind of diet you follow, it is really difficult to meet all your nutrient needs from food alone all the time. This is why a nutrient backup plan like a multivitamin can really come in handy. Let me introduce you to Ritual. They carry vitamins for men and women, but currently I'm taking the Essential for Men, which is a scientifically developed multivitamin to help fill nutrient gaps in men's diets. Ritual shows you every labeled ingredient, supplier, and key studies that go into this vegan-friendly multivitamin. Essential for Men is formulated with 10 key nutrients to help support men's health, including heart, brain, muscle, and immune support. It includes high quality ingredients in bioavailable forms, all in delayed release capsules designed to be gentle on an empty stomach. This subscription service helps serve you and gives you the flexibility you want with the consistency you need. And if you don't love Ritual within 30 days, your first order is on them. If you want to try Ritual for yourself, make sure to click my link and use code OSCAR20 for 20% off your first month. Mash. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I guess I'm not kidding. <laughs> We're about to smash it. <laughs> Looking back on that, I hope people don't think that was a date. That was just like a friend. Maybe it was a date, a friendly date though, a platonic date, meaning no. <laughs> I can't believe I'm clarifying that. <laughs> That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> Speaking of dating, we came back to the apartment and she actually taught me or was helping me learn how to approach girls. Excuse me, miss. I think you're very pretty. Are <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sure? <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I hesitate is because I feel like saying you're very pretty is too, too, it's too late. Hold on, I got to <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hit on her. What's a good line? I need something good. I no line? Sorry, no one. No one? Alright, well, screw it. Just a loop. Well, that's good. 
it'll be a handy skill for the future. Anywho, let's move on to the following day, which was Valentine's. <laughs> you guys get the pick, okay? But say one for Levi. Vivian, this isn't in a romantic way, it's a day to spread love, but I got you some goodies. <laughs> My heavy whipping cream. <laughs> yeah, she asked for heavy whipping cream. <laughs> Time for some self love. You want some? You know, I'm doing this entirely for the kids. I don't care for movies, but I haven't been to one in so long that I'm really excited right now. Are we going to Magic Mark? <laughs> Imagine you <laughs> wish. Whoa, whoa. I guess the name of ours isn't any better. Look at this. Look at this. Excuse me? Right next, next to each other. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Fun fact, this was the night I realized I couldn't keep up with these videos even though it had already been two days since I last uploaded. I was in denial, okay? <laughs> Let's move on to my favorite highlight of the week, Alea's birthday. Did you make that? No, Lilian and, well, Lilian and uh, Alea did. Shut up. I know. You they did good, huh? <laughs> We're here to do the little special event we have planned for Les B-Day. Oh my god, are you excited? <laughs> Happy birthday, Mamash. Happy birthday, Kiki. <laughs> I always knew I'd have to do a tea party someday, but wow, was it way more fun and much better than I expected. I would do that as a pastime. That was great. Now the last thing, oh, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna talk about this, but my cousin moved out and I still, I actually don't wanna talk about it because I've been, okay, well, whew, there's a lot to unpack here. Um, truthfully, I've been distracting myself a lot since she left because this is my first time ever being alone and um, and yeah, I don't think I'm going to talk about it because I haven't really taken the time to process it. I've been distracting myself so much with real estate school and working out again and all my other goals for the year that I don't even want to give myself the time to think about it because I feel like that's just going to cause anxiety, stress, but big sad she's gone. This is my first time ever being alone ever. I'm still adjusting and so I want to make a future video about that. But as promised, let's talk about the disappointment in myself over not being able to keep up with the daily vlogs. I was killing it! I was killing it. I thought I had it in the bag. Oh my gosh. In the bag. How old am I? I'm an adult. Stop talking like a teenager. Especially if I'm gonna become a real estate agent and a professional. I can't be like, yo, yo, dude, you got the bag, huh? You wanna get this sick crib for a bag, homie? <laughs> okay, this video is gonna get really slow and chatty here, so sorry to those who like the fast-pacedness of my vlogs, but like I said, I'm disappointed that I failed the daily vlogs, but at the same time, I am so proud because I I gave everything, my heart and soul into these videos. I, it pushed me to my creative limit. I literally maxed myself out completely. And I'm proud. I mean, in the past we had done over two years of daily vlogging, but at the time I had help from Kira to film and edit. I wasn't in any type of schooling. I also didn't work out. My whole life revolved around YouTube and I only had two kids at the time. And so it was much easier to do it back then. Trying to manage everyday life, responsibilities, goals, and the kids, all that while doing this is was impossible for me even with my cousin's help, and so, yeah, I, I, like I said, I had to put it aside. Disappointed, also very proud though, it's a weird feeling. I feel like I let some of you down, because uh, I promised, and uh, that kind of sucks too, although I do feel like I finally got to connect with you guys. I feel like OK Baby was always Kira's audience, and I never really felt like I was the one connecting with you guys. I felt like you guys were kind of here to watch her, and so that was amazing. Anywho, I have caught up a, on real estate a ton. I'm actually I only have like 30-ish hours left out of the 120 hour course, which is great because originally I thought I was 50% of the way through. That is not true. I was actually only a quarter of the way 
through. There was two parts to the course. I just found out I'm way further behind than I thought. Oh, and it's soul crushing. And the part that I showed and said that I was 50% of the way through was only the first part, which was the Utah law portion. There's also a general law portion. Utah is only 50 hours out of the course. The general law is 70 hours. I was devastated when I found that out, but whatever, setbacks happen. It is what it is. I've caught up a bunch. Hopefully I can continue to keep this up. I've also started working out again, which is great. I know I have fallen off on my diet, you guys. I don't know if I'm stress eating or what's the deal, but check this out. Remember how ripped I was? Now I'm just like, I'm still lean, but nowhere near, and I'm flexing a little bit, nowhere near in the shape I was. And so that kind of sucks, but just, I'll take it a little at a time. I was managing too many things, I think that kind of just all fell apart overnight, or at least it felt like it fell apart overnight. Moving forward though, I will be taking a little bit of a break on these videos just until I get done with my courses and pass the exam. I think once I get my career going, it'll be easier for me to vlog and show like my experience and show houses and then I'll be able to pick up the consistency again. But for now, I really wanna focus on getting this done before spring because spring's the hot time, the time where everybody wants to buy a house and so if I wanna maximize my chances of getting a sale this year, I really wanna get in on that. And so that's my plan. I do want to say one last thing. Sorry for just disappearing for over a week. I, uh, I like you guys saw, I originally filmed one video that was supposed to go up a few days ago. Really didn't like it because I was like, dude, I'm just complaining the whole time. That's not what I like to be like. That's not what I like to have in my videos. That's not what I like to be like. Plus, at first, I kept just telling myself I'll upload tomorrow or the next day. But then I kept just tr overworking on real estate, getting as many hours as I could done in one day. And so, ah, yeah, I don't know. Sorry about that. Anywho, that's pretty much it for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace! <laughs>